For centuries, we have dreamed of being able to fly using our own power. Uh, you can watch a bird soaring around in circles. Uh, Whoa! Straight into the house. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. Oh my god! Oh, wow. god wait, Did no, you get that? Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, god. Whoa! Oh. It's coming at us! You don't! <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. And I said, kids, really quickly, I woke up this morning, I decided I wanted to be able to jump over a house. Nothing too big, two or three stories, but if you could think of any animal, any superhero, any cartoon character, anything you can dream up right now, what kind of legs would you build me? And immediately, a voice shouted, kangaroo! No, 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 it should be a frog. No, it should be Go-Go Gadget. No, 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 it should be uh, The Incredibles and other things that I don't, aren't familiar with. And then one eight-year-old said, hey, uh, why wouldn't you want to fly, too? And the whole room, including me, was like, yeah. <laughs> and just like that, I went from being a woman that these kids would have been trained to see as disabled to somebody who had potential that their bodies didn't have yet. Somebody that might even be super abled. On Wednesday, the 14th of March in Bay, Switzerland, this dream came true. <laughs> it's a dream. It's such an emotion, you know, when the man can fly. It's the fusion between man and bird. Because uh, Rossi, our friend, he flew just with the body. Moving the body makes him move in the air, you know? And it's the first time in history. Flying a wingsuit is kind of just how you would imagine flying. You know, if, if, you, if you ever dreamt about flying, you just kind of probably dream of just soaring around and, and you just kind of go wherever you look and you keep your arms out and just, just do it. Just keep the weight down. Uh, 70 pounds is all it weighed, but let the size swell up. August 23rd, 1977. The prize was won by the Gossamer Condor, a unique aircraft piloted and powered by Brian Allen. called Robo Swift with morphing wings made its first flight this week. It was launched near the Delft University of Technology in Holland and stayed airborne for about three minutes. Its flexible wings can sweep backwards for greater efficiency at high speed and then extend again for slower flying. The plane copies those tricks from the Swift Bird which is one of nature's most accomplished flyers. Robo Swift's wings are made from carbon fibre strips controlled by electric motors which shift their position. The plane can carry twin cameras for studying birds or capturing security footage. Architects, designers, engineers, people who make our world have started to call and say, we want a biologist to sit at the design table to help us in real time become inspired. Or, and this is the fun part for me, we want you to take us out into the natural world. We'll come with a design challenge and we find the champion adapters in the natural world who might inspire us. Okay, in contradiction to the name of the aircraft, it seems to be not solid state. It is quite unsolid because it has flapping wings. Okay, there's two of them, and they're, they're flapping, and they seem to be solar powered. I will guess they have thin film, solar panels. For the wing deployment mechanism, inspiration was taken from the bat. The 
resulting glider is capable of unfolding its wings in just 50 milliseconds. Similar 1.5 gram gliders have been shown to fly six times further than the initial height from which they were launched. The mechanical design responsible for achieving very high jumps was inspired from the Desert Locust, which is a champion among jumping insects. The resulting robot is capable of jumping more than 27 times its own size, and the power consumption is minimal since the entire system can jump and subsequently glide 105 times using a tiny battery. Good off. We waren slechts enkele lichte gewonden. Maar dit soort incidenten komt regelmatig voor. En wellicht is de robotvogel van de Nederlandse valkenier Robert Musters de oplossing. Zijn uitvinding lijkt namelijk zo goed op een echte roofvogel dat gewone vogel... This is not for lack of information. It's the, it's a lack of integration. You know, it's the silo, people in silos. penguin, the Festo engineers have created artificial penguins that have mastered the rules of autonomous flight. The precondition for this was the development of the control technology into self-regulating biomechatronic systems that in future could well be used in adaptive production.